Bahava Defi. And today we are reviewing, where's the box? What is this? Yes. Ma Maestro Mastery by Byron's Games. You wanna hold that up so you can see that? So these are games, Byron's Games right there, made by a child for children. It's a memory matching game. You wanna flip it over to the back? That teaches you all about uh, famous composers. So, Hav is gonna walk us through how to play this game. So, how you play this game is, it's like any memory game, you flip two cards over, and if they're not the same, you say their names, make sure everyone sees them, and then turn them over so that everybody knows where those two cards are. Okay, so, so here we have Amy her. Beach and Barbara Strozzi. Okay. So you flip those two back over, and then once you do pin a match, you get to say that person's name. So Barbara Strozzi, you say the date when they were born and when they died, where they're from, where they're from, and then their um, period of music. Which is this card right here, right? Bar Q. Yes, that's this card. They also have it right on the top of the card. So, that's so if you want to look at this. Once, the, at the end of the game, if whichever, um, how many cards you have in this period, that is the period that you get to read. So say that I got the most in the classical period, so I get to read the classical period out loud to everybody. And then here you have, once you find the match, you can play their music. You just tap it, and then you get to pick which, you get to play their music. Go ahead and play it, so that's let's hear it. all those, go back here. So show us the composer so on the composer poster. Is this guy right here. He was known for his big hands. So this was a really cool aspect that we enjoyed about this game. So we would let this composer play until the next person got a match. And my kids are a little bit obsessed with classical music, so this aspect right here really made the game go to the next level. All right, go ahead and pause that. So now as you notice, there are quite a few composers. So this is the first deck and we actually have not even opened the second deck yet um, because we're really starting to get to know these composers the more that we are playing with them. Um, and then it comes with this poster which we plan on having laminated. And yeah, it's a pretty simple game. What ages would you say could play this game? Because we played this with all of your siblings. So you're the oldest and you're 10. So at what age do you think the youngest would understand how to play this? Eli understood it and he is seven. So Duke is four and it was, he wasn't really paying much attention. So it's seven, like maybe six and up. The box says five and up, but you know, depending on how much your kids tend to pay attention. Yeah. Um, whereas Littles, they're more interested in playing. Right. They would understand the matching aspect, maybe. So that's probably why they said five and up. But And then here you can see, here are a few of the other games from Byron's Games. So we have, we have Continent Race, and we play that, which we really love. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um... We had a lot of laughs. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of fun watching the videos. We started recognizing composers from different books we were reading or shows we were watching that had music in it. What was probably the most interesting thing you've learned from this game? Mm -hmm. 
Well, you get to learn little tiny facts about people, like for this girl, one of her, um, one of her pieces of music got confused with her brother, Fritz Mendelssohn. And then for him, we learned that he had really big hands, and that's why his pieces are hard to play. And yeah, you just get to learn little facts about the people. Where do you learn those facts? Uh, the cards, they have these. Ah, see, so they have these little. So one card will have this little bit of facts and then the match won't. Yes. So that's what you read when you get the match is that little bit right there. So you get to learn a little bit about the composer, and then you get to listen to their music, which is really fun. Yeah, that's one of our favorite parts. Yes. Well, thank you, Ahava. Go ahead and hold up the case. And would you recommend this game? Yes, it's very fun. Very cool. Say thank you. Thank you. You can play a sample piece of music, and then you can have the players try to figure out which era that's from. Such as, you know, these eras, Renaissance, Barcue, Romantic. And then there's another way you can lay three to five different composers' cards up, face up, and then play a sample of their music. And then you can have your players try to figure out which one of those composers made that music. And then, yeah. Very cool. There's many variations of that.